Good morning, it's Tony Hayes again from Palm of Education UK. Today's date is the 15th of March 2022 and we're now looking at movie 416 and another unusual um, event. There were two parts of this, so let's get straight into this. This is, this is again in Chester and unusually this is in the um, story um come meet it used to be a meeting room when we first um got involved with the case the owner collects considerable amount of um classic games that type of stuff um it's a wee bit untidy as you can see it's something we do mention to him that um if we have items falling over We could possibly be suggesting that um, they have some other uh, non-paranormal reasons for something falling off. But anyway, what happens with this is that uh, the doors closed here, um, yet you, you live a bank, which is that bank there. So we'll analyse that bag. Now keep an eye on this bag here. Let me go back from the beginning and just keep your eye on that piece of bag. Starting to move now, move upwards. Now I think the shadow is caused by that that's moving. Um, it would not need much um, air movements you can see there. But the, the sliding door was closed is the first thing I asked him about it when, when, when this came in on the night in question. So there's the thump. Um, then we get this other accidental capture with the bag. So the following day when the owner went in, he's obviously going to inspect one, what it is it's fell over. It, I'm gonna take um, a quick look, but the, I find the, the fact that that Bag moves. Interesting because the the like I said, the sliding door was shut, and there's no other air source as well at all. So um, I took a couple of um, screenshots of it uh, just to show. Oops. It's a strange one. So that's how I'm going to write it up. Um, as far as the um, the audio is concerned, I'm just going to take a um, screenshot of the uh, I'm just going to bear with me a second as I plug myself back in. That's better. I left the adapter out. Right, okay. Um, so we'll bring in the video clip. There's nothing else to see, so I'm just going to concentrate on this here. Uh, being analyzed in. I, I don't think I'm going to have any need to uh, amplify it at all. Um, it could just be unconnected. I think, you know, if you, if you get 
any piece of footage with more than one event occurring look at them separately so I'm dealing with the, the flapping bin bag you know is it you know can that be possibly paranormal I suppose so given the circumstances the room was sealed and the door was closed it did move no doubt but it would not have been captured I don't think if it hadn't been for the bang before it is that is that connected to it or is that different I have no idea so yeah that is what you'd expect to see So we've got the um, the actual um, sound frequency of that, the massive frequency spread, it's significant, it's huge, um, which does support the fact that that is something else, it may just be something that's fallen. Um, and then there's a movement to, of, of the bag. You can, you know, you can. You've got to be careful to, you know, to start suggesting that the sound itself. We might have been an accidental um, one of the um, games moving, for example, which then triggered the the event. You know, um, but all the job is to investigate it. I, I can't see any more that I can do with this. Um, we did inspect the room and, you know, as you, as you look at it, there's so much stuff in there. Um, it could be anything. Uh, that's when I looked all the way through the advantage of looking through the accidental capture with the bag that that, uh, that moved. Uh, so I'll write that up accordingly and I'll see you on the next movie. Bye.